Hello, I'm John Thorne from Thorny Motorsport and welcome to another one of the short technical features about some aspects of the McLaren road cars that we work on. In this little short episode, I'm going to be talking about these. It's an accumulator. Okay, this one's from a 650. This one is from a 12C. An accumulator sits on top or to the side of the suspension unit on all four corners of the car. And its job, really, is to act as a balancer, a pressure balancer. As you imagine, all, the sh all four shocks in the car are what control the car going up and down with the springs. But what these accumulators are is an extra pressure vessel which allows to balance an, an additional pressure on the shocks, bearing one of different levels of suspension settings the cars have. All the cars have either a sport or a track or a comfort mode, what do you call it, the model. And the accumulators allow that difference in pressure to allow that different softer ride on the shock itself. Now, they're very simple things, as you can see, because we decided to um, cut one open. All they are inside is a metal casing uh, with a rubber or a looks almost leather rubberized diaphragm inside. And it's that diaphragm which changes in terms of the pressure of the fluid that's inside. Now, the downside is that these are also full of nitrogen, up to 7.5 bar. So that's quite a lot of pressure. So they're basically a solid little bulb of metal with a diaphragm inside that adjusts according to the pressure that's required of it. The downside is, is that the diaphragm inside tends to fail. Okay, it's only a bit of rubberized uh, material, so eventually over a period of time it perforates or, and you lose all the pressure. And that's the problem you have when your one or one, all of your accumulators have failed. Now, it doesn't mean the car suspensions work anymore. The car suspension is working perfectly normally, but it's only working in its track mode. Because essentially speaking, it lacks that ability to soften the dampers down, which you need for the, tra for the road and the comfort mode. Once the accumulators have failed, only there's one to fail to cause the problem, and then the car will no longer adjust from different modes one to the other. Now, cars are drivable, still okay, but you won't have the softest settings. The only choice is to replace them. Now, sadly, these things are 200 pounds each. Now, the labor to fit them is only three or four hours. You can bleed the system down that McLaren dealers do, but it takes 10 hours, it's a waste of time. So you can do it in three or four hours, but it's a little expensive job, about 1,300, 1,400 pounds, about 1,800 dollars to do which is still a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, the way to determine whether or not your uh, accumulator fails, there are two indications. One is you'll have a PCC fault come up in your dash, and it says PCC. And it's basically saying there is a problem with the suspension units on the car itself. Very generic code means nothing to you, but to us it probably means the accumulators are starting to go, if not failed already. And what's also happened, it tends to come on as a fault after you've used lift on the vehicle, if the vehicle has lift. Uh, the 12C accumulators tend not to fail as often, it's a better item, frankly. And sadly, they're not interchangeable with the 650s or 720s, just to make life complicated. So, you'll get a PCC fault on your dash, uh, which will normally indicate it. Or, or if it comes straight after putting the car on lift, even more likely it's going to be an accumulator fault. Now, it could also be a low fluid, there are other reasons for it. So, don't immediately assume a PCC fault means an accumulator fault, but it's likely. The other way of testing it is to drive the car. The PC4 only really manifests itself in changing the suspension settings from, from track to comfort. So take a car, take your car, drive it on a road that you know, and put it in track mode. Okay, it's the stiffest mode, and drive that road. And remember what it feels like. And then put it all the way to comfort or soft, and drive it again. If it doesn't feel significantly more compliant and softer, again, the chances are that your accumulators, worn or all of them have all gone. Okay, little check to go. Now we are looking at replacing this. Okay, we have a manufacturer in mind at the moment who is able to basically make a version of these for us. Be significantly cheaper than the McLaren ones at the moment. It's not ready yet, but hopefully we'll do soon. Essentially speaking, all it is is a metal bowl with a diver on the side with a thread on it. It's not exactly complicated to make. What we could be careful of is making sure it takes 7.5 bar, which is quite high for an accumulator. Other cars use the system. Citroen, for example, have a similar accumulator system. So that's it. So that's what we're looking for if we have a problem with a car. PTC full fault on, on the dash or check the mode driving. They are replaceable. Uh, they're all models or model specific, which is frustrating. It doesn't need a 10 hour bleed down job to do. It can be done live, keeping the fluid and topping up accordingly. About a three or four hour job to get done for all four. And like I said, we supply these around the world as well now. The actual units themselves range from 158 pounds to 200 pounds per unit. 158 for 12C, 200 for 650. But we are looking to get a replacement aftermarket on that, which will be significantly cheaper. Okay, little thought pack. Go for it. All right, hope that's useful. Talk to you soon. Cheers.